Okay, so hi guys, welcome to this video. This is our animation we're going to be creating in the next few episodes. So this is a Roblox character. It looks really nice. And the color scheme I think is good. So we're creating identical twin buddies. One is walking, one is standing still. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to be making. I'm going to go into mesh view so it's not that laggy anymore. And you can see the mesh is what we're going to be creating today. So we're not going to be creating the animations, we're going to create a mesh. So firstly, I'm going to go and open a new burn file. I'm just going to save it for now. Now what I'm going to be doing is, before anything else, turn on cavity. It makes the edges look much more cleaner and neater, and it looks 3D. That's why I really like cavity. So before anything else, I am just going to actually turn, go, go to modifiers and go subdivision surface. Now I'm going to add it to like 3 or something like that, and then um, tab in, and then go control R. Now we have to add two loop cuts right here. So I'm just going to turn my mouse wheel up and create two loop cuts, and then scale them in the Z axis. Now we made the head. It looks like a Roblox head, but I'm just going to shade all the smooth now. And then apply our subdivision surface. So now it's like the vertices have been applied. Okay, so now I'm just going to scale um, 0 0.5. Oops, sorry. Yep, yeah. Because we want it not that big or not too small either. So now what I'm going to be doing is to be actually... Oh wait, my cursor is um, stuck. Uh, should I move it or... Um, I'm just going to move it. So I'm going to view the selected object. So that's our head. It looks really nice. And now I'm going to be adding another cube. This is going to be our body part. So now I'm just going to scale 0 0.5. So it's in proportion. This looks really cool. And then move it up. So that's our body area. I am now just going to um, actually scale it in the Y axis. Yes, Y axis. And then scale in the X axis. Oops. We do that again yes okay that works scale in the x-axis and our body part is nearly complete i'm just going to select the bottom part after going alt z and then move it down i'm probably going to move it down a bit more later i'm not sure well okay that's our body part done i'm just going to tweak it around um see what's right for me and yeah okay i just moved it around a bit and that looks amazing Okay, anyway, I'm just going to tap out, and now shift D, and then tap back in. Now what I'm going to be doing is to actually be making the arms. Scale in the x-axis, and then go to minus y view, and then move it in the x-axis. That's our arm. It looks really good. So now what we're going to be doing is to be um, scaling it in the x-axis, so it's not as wide as the y-axis, sorry. Um, so it's not as wide as the body. That's cool. Okay. That's our arm. Now I'm going to be probably adding a bit of detail to this arm. So I'm going to tab in. And then just moving it a bit shorter than the body. Because that's how normally it is. Not really. In Roblox I mean. And then I'm going to go cursor to selected. And then set origin to 3D cursor. Now if you rotate it. Let's see. It rotates like that. It looks amazing. I mean, like, the animating part is going to be so much fun. Uh, that's in a later episode. I'm going to go view selected object, tab in, and then go control R and add two subdivisions. Now I'm just going to scale it, not too big, not too small either. Like, about that much is good. And then move it down. Now's the fun part. We're going to be auto extruding. I'm just going to alt select, oops, wrong one. And now what I'm going to be doing is extrude face along normals, alt E. And then move it in. That looks amazing. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing after I add the detail is probably duplicate it onto the other side. I might be adding a mirror, but I don't think mirror is that good because once you get to you, you have to go like, it's a really hard process. So I'm just not going to do mirror. I'm just going to duplicate it so it's separate from the start and then move it approximately to where you want it to go. Like there is fine. I mean like... Yeah, that looks nice, but I think the body is a bit a hint too short. 
that's the problem. So I'm just gonna select both my arms. Oops, wrong selections. And I'm gonna select, go to minus Y, and then select both of these. Now I'm gonna go O for like a proportional size thing. And then now I'm just going to scale, no, scale them in the Z axis so it's like a bit longer. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Whoa, we're getting into the style now. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna be shifting them to create the legs. It's actually really easy creating these um, so sorts. Um, so now what I'm gonna be doing here is to just be selecting all this object and then scaling it. Oh wait, no, just turn off all like the proportional size for now and then scale it in the X axis. Okay. I'm just going to proportionally size this. Oh, oh, I think I made a fatal mistake. Not a fatal one, but like, I think I made a mistake. Oh no. You have to go Alt Z guys, remember. You have to remember. If you guys corrected me, thank you. You have to go Alt Z, then scale it. Or else only like the area you selected will be scaled. So that's enough Robin. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this in the X axis. Okay, completed. And that actually looks sick. I mean, this character looks insane. Okay, so now I'm just gonna um go to that one only and then select the under vertices and then go Shift S, cursor to select it. Now I'm just going to go to the rest of our objects and then set origin to 3D cursor. I'm going to go shift S, cursor to world origin back again. And finally, we're going to do parenting. I'm going to select all the other objects and selecting the abdomen or the body. And I'm going to go keep transform. Now, if we move that, it moves the whole thing. It's amazing, right? If you guys want me to make a more detailed video, I'll make a more detailed video next time. You guys can just comment down below. So that's our plane. And that's a Robloxian character. Looks insane. I love it. It's amazing. Now, animating. This is insane as well. We're going to be fixing like, the hovering bits, but... Hi! Yeah, that, 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 that just looks insane. Like, yeah. So play around with it if you want. I'll try to make a dabbing animation. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We're going to fix that next video. Okay, so see you guys. Bye. See you guys in the next one. Over now.